Well, CNBC TVT Newsbreak confirmed LNT signs deal with Coffee Day founder Vijay Siddhartha to buy his 20.32% stake in Mindtree. Mukda, who has been tracking the story and has been on top of the story from the start, joins us now. Mukda, good morning. You got it right. Tell us what are the details. Yes, you know, LNP has initiated its hostile takeover of uh, Mindtree and it has agreed to buy uh, VG Siddhartha's and Coffee Day's stake in Mindtree of 20.32% at rupees 980 per share. And moreover, it is also looking to buy up to 15% more in Mindtree via on-market purchase. And, uh, you know, uh, it will make an open offer for an additional 31% in Mindtree at the same price of rupees 980 per share. So if LNT is successful in this, uh, you know, buying of uh, shares in Mindtree, it will take its total stake in the company to 66%, for which it is shelling out more than rupees 10,000 crore. Now, LNT says it will fund the entire exercise using its existing financial resources. And it says that, it, you know, Mindtree will add to its IT services platform with its new age digital and cloud solution. Now, what is important to note here is that LNT has said that Mindtree will remain an independent listed entity, you know, and Mindtree will benefit from the access to a larger client base. Now, this could provide a very little solace to Mindtree promoters who, remember, have been fighting this acquisition tooth and nail. And even yesterday after LNT's announcement of this takeover, Mindtree promoters, you know, came out saying that they condemned this uh, takeover and will remain unconditionally opposed uh, to the takeover, citing that it is value destructive for the company. And uh, remember, Mindtree uh, will have its board meeting on Wednesday. To it. So it now remains to be seen what steps the Mindtree promoters will take now that they have openly opposed this takeover. Well, yes, absolutely, Mukda. And as you said, the key important point is that LNT is looking to keep a mind tree independent. And that is really important because remember, the street believes and the consensus is that yes, the deal is positive uh, in a long term and medium term basis. But for the very near term, it might be a tad bit value decretive. And that's the reason the stock ended a tad bit lower. But what does the management say in terms of the rationale of this deal? They say that the deal is going to be accretive for both the shareholders as well as the company. They say that they have done this deal to grow the asset light service portfolio and they're looking to diversify the revenue generation stream for the company. Now, they say that this will increase the consolidated return on equity and it will be value accretive when it comes to the medium or the long term. But the analysts that I have been talking to say that there might be some hiccups in the very near term. And do remember that the stock yesterday itself saw a cut of anywhere between 1% to 2% on account of these near term uh, issues. So first up, they say that because the company is going to use around 10,800 crores on this acquisition. This means that the company would not have excess cash balance and hence there'll be no immediate special dividend or buyback coming in for the shareholders. Remember last year they had announced a 9,000 crore buyback which was rejected by SEBI. They had appealed again and the street was expecting that something might come out of that. Secondly and more importantly, on account of the 10,800 crores that they're going to use it for the acquisition, there will be a loss of other income. And that loss of other income will be higher than what uh, Mindtree could uh, perhaps add in terms of the profit. And that is why in the very near term, this might be a tad bit EPS decretive or dilutive is what the uh, analysts tell me. Other than that, the ROE and the ROCE of the company might also contract when it comes to LNT. Remember, they had a target to pull it up to around 18%. Currently, it was around 15 to 16 percent and the expectation was that on account of buyback, it would be easier to reach that level of around 18 percent. But given now that this deal might be EPS dilutive, uh, it is expected that this might now take a longer time. And lastly, and most importantly, this creates an uncertainty in the mind of investor regarding the capital allocation policy of the company. And remember, for LNT, it remains very important and the analysts track the capital allocation policy uh, very, very minutely because the uh, management has been talking talking about how they are looking to reduce the uh, asset uh, heavy, heavy model. But now they have gone ahead and invested around 10,800 crores in the non-core EPC business. But we'll get the answers of all of this in the press conference that is lined up for today at 11.30 a.m. There's also a conference call at 9.30 a.m. And you can get all the details of that only on CNBC TV 18.